Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta, if you are new here, and I love to talk about perfume and other luxury items. Today's video is gonna be a top 10 Zerjoff perfumes for women. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. video that has been highly requested by a lot of my subscribers. Those of you that regularly watch me know I have a lot of Zerjoff. So I have actually 26 full-size bottles of Zerjoff as well as a huge little library of their samples and I'll put some photos up just so you can get a scheme of how much of Zerjoff I've been exposed to because it is a huge house. And I'm not basing this top 10 on like, I only own 10 and I'm ranking them or I've tried 10, I don't own any, but so this is like, I own a lot of them. I've tried almost all of them. It's, I'm hard pressed to find some that I have not tried, even the really unpopular ones. So, and again, this is for women. If I were to rank this for men also, I would come up with a lot of names that are not mentioned here. So, and you know, I don't want to offend anybody by not mentioning some popular name. Right. I'll, I'll tell you later what other ones I probably would have put in if it were a men's list, or maybe I'll do another one for men if you want that. Um, but for a woman, this is what I think are their top 10. And if you're trying to build out your Zerjoff collection, these are some that are really good, really popular, and you're going to want to take a look at. So let's get to it. Um, and I also want to say, if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, it is from House of Siage and it is Baron, which is like this bubblegum pink. It comes in this tube like this. You do not need the Swarovski crystal lipstick cases. You can just take these, take the bottom and the bottom off, and this white tube will turn it up for you and you have that little cap. Also makes it really small to fit in a clutch or something like that for you or you can put it in the beautiful ornate case. You don't have to pay for that case, just saying. The first one I have here is from the Casa Marotti line and it is Dolce and Malfe. Dolce and Malfe is such an easy reach and easy wear. And yes, I describe it as bazooka bubble gum. I did see someone comment like, I really don't think a perfume company would make something smell like bubble gum. Um, yeah, they did. Bazooka bubble gum, not just regular bubble gum. Oh, look, I'm wearing like bubble gum pink, um, which is distinct. And it has that clove in there. It has, which, and it's a sharper bubble gum, but it literally smells like that to me, especially at the opening. But it is such a great easy wear. And when you look at the notes, it doesn't really translate to what it comes out to as a fragrance. But this is such an easy pleaser. I highly recommend this. And this is in number 10. Okay. Number nine, I have, again from Casa Marati, oh, I just realized some, is Dama Bianca. Dama Bianca is a beautiful vanilla musk fragrance. Again, easy wear, great for every day, great for work, simple, beautiful, um, is not a beast that when you walk in the, mo in the room, this kind of precedes you. It's a very pleasant, soft fragrance. All Zerjoffs wear extremely well, I love this one extremely well. They're going to give you that 12 hours. They're going to stay. They're going to project a little bit. This one is just such a beautiful, soft fragrance that it's not uh, an imposing projection on you. It's just so delicious. Dama Bianca. Number eight, I have to laugh here, is again Casa Marati. And this is a wildly popular one. Um, so these last, these three here, you really should have them in your collection, is Lyra, which is a lot of people's first Zerjoff. And it makes a great first Zerjoff. It is this beautiful, like, lemon cookie kind of fragrance. It is sweeter. It's a little gourmandish. It's beautiful. It's, it is unisex. It is beautiful. And again, one you just really should have in your collection. It's, uh, It's a gateway Zerjoff. This one will get you hooked on a lot of Zerjoffs. will get you into loving that DNA that they have. 
it opens like a lemon, a citrus lemon, like a lemon cookie kind of a thing. You get the citrus, you get the vanilla, and then it just goes, dries down to this beautiful soft cookie, like a cake-like cookie. It's beautiful, 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 yummy, yummy, yummy. I keep this one in my purse in case I don't have a fragrance on anymore. It's such an easy wear. Great one, very well liked. Number six, I kind of have a tie because they're kind of similar. One is just easier to acquire than the other. So for number six, I have Herba Pura and Herba Gold. So Herba Gold is only available at Selfridges in London. So this is like your red fruits and this is more of like your peachy and gold fruits. They're both amazing fruity fragrances with incredible projection, sillage, longevity, and just must-haves. And there's something to be said for fragrances being compared to Herba Pura, meaning, you know, this is that icon that is a bar. It's the bar that other fragrances are held to. So again, it's just one you should have. And if I were to choose, I actually kind of prefer Herba Gold better, but I would never give up either of these in my collection. Um, and this is just way easier to find than this one, which is only at Selfridges. Number five. Number five. So I did not put Cruise del Sur 2 on this list, even though it is definitely one of my favorites as a mango fragrance. However, I do acknowledge that it doesn't smell the same to everyone. It is split and there's a fair amount of people that have commented to me that it smells a little vile on them and I don't know if it's their reception of it or if it's their skin chemistry. I mean, I've kind of heard both, so I don't know. But the fact that there's people out there, I, I don't want to put it on the top 10, even though it's one of my top 10. But La Capital. So that one's a mango fragrance, whereas this is your strawberry. And it is an incredible fruity fragrance also that has that beautiful syrupiness to it with that typical classic Zerjoff musky kind of base to it. It has um, strawberry peach and caramel in it. And that caramel gives it that creaminess. And labdanum, which can come off leathery, actually just gives it more of a texture feeling in that like ambery base of benzoin. And it's just this creamy, fruity, intoxicating, amazing fragrance. So if, if Dela Cruz 2 or Cruz del Sur 2 doesn't work for you, definitely give this one a shot. I really, really like La Capital, which is, sorry, this is number six. Top five here that I really recommend and you might not hear as much. So if you're trying to expand your collection, these are really good ones that you need to know about. Number five is Soprano in this beautiful purple box, purple velvet. I love Soprano. I wouldn't wear this in high heat, but this one is more complex. It has that fruity opening where you're like, oh, this is going to be a Zerjoff fruity. This is amazing. Uh, fruits and lychee and bergamot. But then you get into this middle and it kind of goes through a journey with you and it kind of like pops this out then it pops that out and it has this milky osmanthus rose also in the middle and then it also has this base with oud in it uh, and patchouli so you have this incredible oud patchouli base which is so rich and decadent yet you have this middle of the osmanthus rose and you'll and then you'll get the fruits and you just kind of like throughout the day i'll get like a wave of the fruits again and then there's that beautiful, rich patchouli. And I just love this one. This one is not getting enough attention. It's, mwah. I love Soprano. I was so excited to finally get this after wearing the sample for a while. Number five, you have to check out Soprano. Number four, Cambridge Club. Cambridge Club, I did a whole dedicated video on. I can link that below. This one is along the lines of Intense Cafe by Montal 
or uh, Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi, which that one is a little more honey, versus this one's Vanilla. Oh man, this one is so good. It's rose, vanilla, coffee, and so, so good. You really need to get your nose on this one as well. I won't go as deep into this because like I said, I did do an entire video just on this perfume with comparisons and everything. So it's incredible. Cambridge, after the neighborhood in London of Cambridge, uh, Knightsbridge and the Cambridge neighborhood. Top three guys. Third is a new one to Zerjoff that you can only get on their website and that is Decus. Holy cow. This was released as the anniversary for the, was it 1861 collection? Oh my goodness, this is so good. You need to get samples of this. And you can order samples from Zerjoff. Uh, it's kind of like an advance on the free samples that you get with your order. So you can order those four, I think for $25 and then have that credited back at your next order. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a beautiful, bright mandarin in the opening with that tuberose. And it's not a bubblegummy tuberose or creamy. It's a very bright tuberose mandarin with tobacco also kind of basing it down. But, and then what happens is that orris root, which is powdery, starts to come out. And it's in a base of bourbon vanilla with resins and musks. You get that powdery, ambery vanilla base in this. It's so good that it's almost like, almost like a powdery orangey cookie. It has the benzoin that gives it uh, that like fluffiness too. And the, and the orris root that gives it powderiness. It somehow me maintains that citrus aspect to it. So you have like this lemony orange thing to it. It's like a, a lemon vanilla kind of, not like Lyra. It's um, kind of an amber vanilla lemony or citrus, I should say like a lemony orange. It's so incredibly good. It's so refreshing. It's an amazing fragrance for spring and summer, especially 100% unisex too. And this is a new one in my collection and I'm just loving this. Tap two guys. Whew. Yeah, this is a really good one. This I put in a few top 10 videos, more than words. This is in their um, JTC collection. Join the Club Collection, which if you know, and I've said this multiple times on my channel, you cannot go by the Fragrantica notes because the notes are actually vaulted. Those notes are actually quite frequently long, uh, wrong. They are guesses. They're what they think might be in there. And a lot of times they're misleading. It's not what's listed in Fragrantica. But this is a gorgeous vanilla rose oud fragrance which I did a whole video on my favorite vanilla rose oud fragrances or rose oud fragrances, because it is just an incredible um, scent profile that I absolutely love, which is gonna put you in the realm of like Rose Darby by Armani Privé, uh, Lan Maison Lancôme Oud Bouquet, um, but that gives you the idea. It is incredible. And of course it has that whole Zerjoff aspect. Um, it's very clean. Uh, if I, comp I think I compared this to like Oud Bouquet and some others, which is a lot dirtier of an Oud where this is very clean smelling. It's, oh my gosh, I forgot how good this is. This is like a clean woody scent with that rose. So the rose does develop to get more jammy, but there's something very clean and crisp about it versus gritty and dirty, like some of the others. Gotta get your hands, you, you've gotta get your nose on this one again, like if you have to sample it, but this is one that you might wanna think about having in your collection. Top 
The top one that I think everyone should have in their collection is probably not normally the first Zerge off for people, but once they get acquainted with it, it's very quickly in their collection. So I, I gave that number one is Ivory Root, also from the JTC collection. So again, the notes are vaulted. They do not reveal the notes that are in here that make this up. But I will tell, I will tell you to like just overgeneralize, it's a spiced vanilla. If you like something like Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, where it's like a spicy vanilla, Ivory Root. But Ivory Root has this dreamy, creamy vanilla to it. Like there's benzoin vanilla musk in here or something, but it is incredible. And far cleaner than Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, which is like a darker, more clovey kind of... There's a brightness, but it's definitely like you're getting those spices, um, like fall, winter spices. And then that creamy vanilla starts to come out and the spices, they're in the forefront at the opening, but then like that creamy vanilla comes out and it's just to die for. This is a very, very popular Zerja for a reason that, man, it's just, it's, it's a good one. They just take that scent profile and do it so well. It's definitely, um, the best one that I would say. And you know, I'm a huge fan of Tobacco Vanille, but this one, man, it's yeah, cleaner is the best way I could say it. It's so, so, so good. It's primarily a vanilla. Um, primarily a vanilla that they just kind of add the spices to it because, you know, vanilla can be done as boozy. Vanilla can be done as creamy. Vanilla can be done with a citrus. Vanilla is done a thousand and one times, right? So this one is with that spiced up and it's just really good. So those are my top 10 for women. Um, just top 10 that you wanna explore if you're trying to expand your collection. These are really just top 10 for me that are amazing and should be in your collection. And again, I do have a lot and I would not give any of those up. So my top 10. Let me know what you guys think, because I know that this is going to cause a ruckus and there's going to be a lot of people saying, why wasn't Naxos there? Why wasn't Neo, Neo there? Why wasn't Renaissance there? Why wasn't Alexandria 2 or 3 there? 100%. I agree. But for the men, I would 100% put them on. If I were doing a list for men, that's where I would put them. Are they unisex? Absolutely. But I would tend to put them on the men's top 10 list in these on the women's. And you know what? A lot of these are absolutely great on men as well. I'm just choosing the top 10 for men and the top 10 for women and I kind of have to rank them. Someone's got to go. So these are the ones, those are the ones that went even though I really do love them and own them also. So you guys have a good night. Mwah.